Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from robnonphoto.com with a nice quick video of the Olympus Mu 2 or Stylus Epic as it's also known as in America and uh, different places which is a lovely 35mm uh, ultra compact um, film camera that it's worth looking out for um, at car boot sales, thrift sales, uh, garage sales, this, this sort of stuff. It's very easy to overlook these little cameras because they look very very similar to the much cheaper and uh, inferior cousins with zoom lenses and uh, inferior lenses but this is a very special beast indeed and let me show you why when I pull back the cover. The reason being is that this little baby has got a fixed focus lens, no zoom, 35mm but it's a 2.8 glass lens that's known and um, people love it for its sharpness. Normally on little compacts they have zoom lenses that are okay um, but are uh, a little bit slow they don't let in much light but with this uh, Olympus we've got a 35mm 2.8 lens that um, lets in lots of light but is known for its sharpness um, and it's incredibly small size I mean look you know look how look how small it is even compared to something like an Olympus trip you know see how, see how small the Mu2 or Stylus Epic really is um, Basically, it's a fully automatic camera, no manual controls here, um, weatherproof as well. You open it up, um, you compose your shot. I don't know whether we have to see through the viewfinder. Yeah, you press the button halfway down, and then hopefully some lights will come on that you're not going to be able to see. No, um, they'll tell you whether it's gained focus and whether the flash needs uh, to come on. And one of the little little tricks of the trade is there's only two buttons on the back. One does the remote uh, timer and one does the controls if you actually if you press both of them together um, you can actually activate a spot metering mode so rather than average metering give you spot metering uh, press if you press the, this little button here you can cycle through the flash modes and what we want to do is just put it on no flash so one of the things you should always do is as soon as you if you're outside turn on your camera flip it over to the back press the button a couple of times and we've stopped the flash now remember that every time you close the cover it will revert back to auto flash but that will make sure the lens um, doesn't doesn't fire the flash especially if you you're, um, you don't want people to know you're taking photographs for example so you're doing some street photography um, or generally you know you, uh, the, the camera is capable of taking photographs without the flash but it likes to use the flash <laughs> um, so uh, so there we go I mean I've loaded this with colour film um, I can't remember which one Kodak 200, um, but you know what you could you could go 400. It's fully automatic, um, so you, it's got those little sensors and there that so it knows what size uh, film there is. But there we go, the Olympus Mu2 or Stylus Epic. Look at that. Look out for it at car boot sales. Again, it's easy to get overlooked in with boxes of lots of other cheaper inferior cameras. And if you can pick one up, um, grab it while you can. I picked this one up for a fiver. And they go for a lot more of that on eBay. In fact, you know, the only reason I probably look on eBay is to sell one, not to buy one, because they tend to go for a good few quid. But a lovely little 35mm camera, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the shots that come out with it. Well, my name is Rob from RobNonphoto.com with the Olympus Mu2 or Olympus Stylus Epic. Thanks for watching.